the level of objections and the, um, the input from the anti-wind lobby, as we collectively call it, which, I have to recognise, has become progressively more organised. It is important that we recognise that this is not a fair reflection of the level of opposition to wind energy because the majority and the majority have repeatedly independently registered support for renewable energy generally and wind energy in particular is more than 80% of the total population. What we're actually dealing with here is a tiny, tiny minority of very vocal and very impassioned people. So it's not a fair reflection of the real uh, level of support for wind energy.